Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be a lipstick swatch video. I have these somewhat new faces, Ultime Pro Lip Crayons. These are the Intense Matte Lips Plus Primer and I have four shades of them. I thought let me make a quick review plus swatch video for these lipsticks and share my thoughts on them. So if you guys are interested, then please continue watching. Okay guys, let's get started with today's video. So today we are going to talk about the faces, Ultime Pro HD Intense Matte Lips Plus Primer Lip Crayons. That took me so many takes to just get this name right. It's quite a mouthful. They also have an older lip crayon, the Intense HD Matte Lip Crayons. So I will share my thoughts on both the formulas uh, at the end of the video. But let's talk about this one first. So I've got four shades of these lip crayons when I went to India last, which feels like a long, long time ago. It was in March, which actually is not a long time ago, but because of the current situation, it feels like a long time ago. But anyways, if I have to give my opinion on these lipsticks straight up right at the start, I would say I really really like these lip crayons and I will tell you why. I will show you the swatches of all the lipsticks on my lips and then we will just while swatching I'm going to tell you my thoughts on the lipsticks. First let's start off with packaging that's how we uh, do every single time. So this is how the packaging looks like really really sleek packaging I don't remember uh, this one coming in a box this is how it came and there is like a normal regular crayon style packaging this is how the crayon looks like and I really like how sleek the packaging is is it's a twist up and you have all of the information mentioned here it's supposedly made in Germany which is very interesting uh, you have the shade name right here and yeah I really like the packaging uh, it's quite sturdy it's not going to come off in your purse it uh, shuts with a click and in each lipstick crayon you are going to get 1.4 grams of product you also have the expiry mentioned over here so that also comes in handy and this retails for 749 rupees on Nykaa's website I wanted to get some information about the intense matte lips plus primer feature what is that feature but I'm sorry I couldn't really get much information I couldn't find the faces Canada website as well I don't know if it's down uh, it was just pointing me to Nykaa and Nykaa didn't have too much information on this primer so if you guys happen to know then just let us know in the comment section below so this is the first shade which I'm showing you today this is what I have on my lips right now this is a shade natural cocoa 12 and it's a very pretty brownish nude with a hint of pink and red I really, really love this color if you're close to my skin tone I'm around NC 44 you can definitely go for this lipstick as an everyday shade as you can see the texture of the lipstick is quite matte I had applied this lipstick I would say around 30 35 40 minutes back and this is how the lipstick looks like looks like right now it's pretty matte and if I give you a transfer test it doesn't really transfer that much you will get a slight bit of transfer but not a whole lot so I really like the fact that it's matte but it is not a completely completely matte formula that it's going to make your lips very dry it's a very comfortable formula it is not drying and when you're smiling and talking there are not going to be any cracks or anything on the lips but yes you do have to exfoliate your lips this is after all a matte formula so it is going to stick to dry patches although i have a little bit of dry patch here today uh, but still it is not clinging on to dry patch as much so just try to exfoliate but even if you don't it doesn't emphasize it too too much so that's the first shade natural cocoa let's move on to the next shade we have the shade called tea rose number 10 and this came highly recommended uh, from some of my followers on instagram so that's why i purchased this shade Okay, so here is the shade T Rose, which is a muted pink sort of a color with a little bit of peach uh, kind of a shade. It's a really, really pretty shade and I did not think it's going to suit my skin tone, but it really does and I love it a lot. It's a very everyday friendly pink peachy color, which you can wear. Uh, when I was applying this lipstick, you could see that it, the lipstick just glides out very, very easily. Like there is no tugging or pulling 
uh, and the pigmentation is great I would say I have seen lipsticks which are, are more pigmented for example the color bar sinful matte I feel like they're a little bit more pigmented but the pigmentation of this one is also good the coverage is good it's very opaque uh, you have to layer up uh, with some of the lighter shades especially this one and this one you have to layer up a bit to get opaque coverage but it lays up pretty nicely and you do get a very nice coverage and pigmentation and it feels very matte on the lips it's not a dry matte feeling but it still feels very matte and it, you will feel like you're wearing something on the lips but it's not heavy or very weighing on the lips it's very comfortable and yeah love the texture very creamy very easy to wear so this is the shade T Rose okay so I got two nude kind of shades T Rose and Natural Coco and I got two of my favorite kind of shades that is one berry and a wine color so I'm going to show you these two shades first let's apply this one Mulberry Magic number 17 it's a beautiful berry purpley sort of a color And these are very easy to apply because the bullet is actually very thin. So you can even line your lips with it. Why am I still talking? And you can take your time to layer the product. It doesn't dry down immediately. Okay, somehow this one feels a little bit more matte. I don't know why. The texture is a little bit more uh, drier. But on the lips, it feels very, very comfortable. So this is the shade Mulberry Magic. Super pretty. I love this color and I think it goes very well with my eye look as well. It's a plummy, berry sort of a color. Let's talk about the longevity of these uh, lipsticks. I think these are very, very long wearing and I'm super impressed by how long wearing they are. Especially because this is a lip crayon and for a lip crayon, this is a very long wearing formula. There are not too many lip crayons which can last on the lips for so long. Uh, I will show you some pictures here. This is a picture which I've taken around the 3 hour mark after some coffee. And you can see that there is a very slight fading on uh, from the lips. And then here is one more picture which I'm going to show you right here. It's around the 8, 7.5, 8 hour marks. Uh, where I have already had dinner so this is after dinner still you can see that the lipstick has not completely gone off from the lips there has been fading but it's very gradual and it doesn't it hasn't faded away completely so I was pretty impressed with how long wearing this formula is and all of the shades which I have all the four shades behave uh, similarly of course the lighter shades are lighter in color so they will fade away a little bit more uh, but yeah, I'm still pretty impressed with how long these lipsticks could last on my lips. Okay, let's move on to the last shade which I have which is called Cran uh, Crushed Berry 04. So this is a wine berry sort of a color. I love this color. It's going to match my dress. Okay guys, so this is Crushed Berry, a beautiful, beautiful wine color. This is, uh, this is so stunning. If you don't like to wear reds or reds make you feel like they're too bright, you can wear wine shades and these kind of wine shades look good on so many skin tones. Love it. Love this color. So yeah, I think I totally, totally love this formula. Nice matte formulation. If you like matte lipsticks, you might really like this. It's not harbor transfer proof completely, but I really like the texture and I really like the longevity. It stays very nice on the lips and it doesn't dry out the lips. Even if you're wearing for long hours, your lips are not going to feel dry. Uh, that is the main complaint I had with the Faces Ultime Pro HD Lip Crayons. After a while, after a few hours, they do feel drying on the lips, but that's not going to be the case with this one. Uh, even after many hours, your lips are not going to feel drying with this one. So that is why I prefer these lip crayons uh, over the Ultra HD Matte lip crayons from Faces. So yeah, that's my little video for you guys today. I really hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, if I have missed out anything, you can just ask me in the comment section below. I'll be happy to get back to you. If you like this video, then please do not forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you're watching me for the first time, I really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again really soon in my next video.
बाय